Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the Ichimoku Kinko Hayo Indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched my first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that right now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down in the description below. You can also find a link to our Discord server, so that way we can all discuss testing indicators and building our trading system. And lastly, you can find a link below to TradingView. If you sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money using the link below. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the Ichimoku Kinko Hayo Indicator. But before we do, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 95 indicators. And out of those 95 indicators, 32 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 32 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators, and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right, so today's indicator is the Ichimoku Kinko Hayo Indicator. Quite a mouthful. Um, it is a, um, a portion of the uh, Ichimoku trading system i've played around with a few of these indicators done a couple of videos on uh, bits and pieces of them and if you don't know the ichimoku is a um, all-in-one trading system that is rather large and elaborate with lots of moving parts and it's not uncommon for traders to um, strip out bits and pieces of it um, creating indicators just around those bits and pieces that you know can be used as a trading strategy or an indicator for signals and so um, that's what this trading view member has done they have uh, stripped apart some of the, the pieces of the Ichimoku and uh, they have created uh, the Ichimoku Kinko Hayo indicator. And so uh, it's a pretty straightforward setup here. I'm not really going to go into the mathematics of, you know, what parts and, and so on of the Ichimoku that are all being used here. Uh, trust me, there are a whole bunch of moving parts with all kinds of different calculations that make up the whole system. But basically, all we need to know is that uh, this indicator gives us signals uh, like quite a few of them the creator built in the signals you can see here where it says is i'm assuming that means uh to uh, uh go short and you can see back here ib uh, that would be a buy signal and so um yeah pretty pretty simple setup here i think i might go in by now, if you've watched uh, any number of my videos, you would know that I will often go in. And I mean, here's a prime example of when I say um, all the bits and pieces that go into um, the Ichimoku. So this is just a portion of the Ichimoku system. And you can see here, these are all the different... Um, you know, kind of pieces of this puzzle that are all working together with uh, a lot of different inputs. So anyways, uh, let's see here. Let's keep 
those two. Let's drop that out. Let's drop that out. Man, there are just so many. I'm really just trying to um, trying to kill some of the um, all the the visual. Uh, parts of this and so that way it's just a little bit easier to see price action there we go so I like being able to see price action a little bit more clear because it gets kind of hard to see price action kind of read what's going on with price action when you have all this stuff in the way and so really all we need is the ability to see the signals um, short um, and buy signals here uh, but I do like to leave uh, you know specific parts of it in place uh, especially when you have lines like this that act kind of as a moving average it just kind of um, you know helps to give you some idea of where you might spot support resistant area so Anyways, okay, so now that all that is said and done, uh, we are going to start testing it. Again, when we get the IS, that's a short. When we get an IB, that will be a buy signal. And um, as I've been doing in the last uh, handful of videos or so, I'm going to be reading off some price action here. Um, just so that way, you know, those of you who like price action can uh, get a little bit more idea of how all that works. All right, so we got our first buy signal there, and I will say that it was a really decent buy signal. Forgot to put our the uh, take profit and stop up there, so did that double check this here yeah that definitely hit the 50 pip take profit took off there rather quickly uh, let's see here so price action seems to be just kind of chopping along at this point um, didn't really make a solid move here but then had a strong rejection of this area so that might be an area to keep an eye on Anytime you get a real strong rejection of an area like that, it's not a buy. It's not a bad idea to mark it off with a line like this. It may have um, some, uh, you know, some kind of uh, area that um, is beneficial, or it may not. But it doesn't hurt to have the line there just to see. All right, we got our second signal here from. The Ichimoku system and a another winning trade so far so good all right let's see price action made a strong push down really really strong push down there um, probably start looking for signs of exhaustion in this move uh, what we can also do is we can go back here um, so one of the first things I'll touch base on this real quick one of the first things that I do when I start looking at price action is to uh, scroll back as far as I can on uh, the um, the axis here and really crunch all this uh, price action together and what that's doing and then you can on the uh the vertical axis here as well we can kind of crunch that down we won't, don't want to go 
too far with that. We still want to be able to see our um, valleys and peaks. But basically what we're doing is we're getting an idea of where um, there is a lot of support and resistance areas. And you can then go in and start uh, typically what I do is like a, a top-down approach or a bottom-up approach. And so you can go in and you can start marking off some of these areas where historically seen a lot of um, price action taking place. You can go back as you know as far as you feel is necessary. We can mark off some up here, but again, I'm not going to spend too much time doing this because this video will get super long if I do. But this starts giving you areas where uh, you very likely could start seeing uh, price having um, um, some kind of reaction to these areas. Mark off one more here. There we go. And I know the screen gets a little clustered sometimes when you start doing this. But it really starts to give you an idea of where historically there's been areas of support and resistance, stuff like that. All right, so let's play this forward a little bit. We can see here that it had the strong push down. It's now starting to form a double bottom right here. Um, relatively close to this area of, uh, of um, support. And keep in mind that, again, these are not exact lines. They're often kind of zones. And so, uh, once again, this is where things get very subjective and hard to use price action all on its own but anyways so this is a zone it seems to be getting near this zone right here and as it is it's starting to form a double bottom let's play it a couple candles here and see what it does so there we go it's now starting to reject it again starting to squeeze itself into um this uh this kind of pennant type shape it's going to push down here. Let's see if it has a reaction to this area here that we've marked off. There we go. We're starting to round out here at this bottom. It already had, you know, a moment of um, questionable movement here. Hasn't broke up above the, what is that? I forget what that line is called. The uh, Tekinson. That's what it is. Hasn't broke up above the Tekinson yet. That would be a good point to look for uh, that we're starting to get some movement back to the upside let's now hit this zone let's see what happens if it's going to reject it or if it is going to break through looks like we have a rejection it's now broke up above the tekinson and so we're starting to get confirmation that we will most likely start seeing a move go upward no guarantee yet, but possible. Nope, it was able to break down below um, and uh, smash through that, that level of support there. Making its way back underneath the Tekken. Play it forward here, and it has got to be um, just reaching its, its limits here. It has really made the strong push down, and so... Uh, what we're doing is we're just kind of waiting patiently for some kind of confirmation that it's lost its strength in the down move and is going to start making its way back up. And that would have been a good confirmation right there when it smashed back up above that area. Um, I was trying to just play one candle at a time there, but it got a little ahead of me. Um, Again, this is not a great price action setup here, but you can see how it made the strong push down. 
uh, we started seeing exhaustion points, exhaustion points, and then as it started to round back up here and broke strongly up above the Tekinson, then we could have set a, a buy order up here above that candle. And once it came up and smashed through that area, then we would have been entered into a trade with our normal take profit and stop in place. And don't know if... Nope, we haven't quite hit the 50 pips yet on that, but let's see what happens. And, yep, there we go. It turned around, came back down on us. And so that is, uh, again, why price action alone can be so questionable, right? And so we didn't get good confirmation. And even though there were a lot of indications that this thing was going to take off to the upside and get a really strong push up here, we see that it did for a moment, it faked us out, came back down, smashed back through uh, what surely would have been um, stops at this point. And if you had your stops way down here, man, that is a, a huge um, profit to loss ratio. Ugh. That's, that's scary stuff to start working with at that point because you have to have such a massive move upwards that man you're really starting to push the envelope on that one you're just asking for trouble so again this is why we really need good pattern confirmation uh, in price action before we would uh, definitely take a trade and if you can have your um, your indicator line up with that confirmation that is all the better so we're going to play it forward now. And now that it has come down and smashed down here and taken out probably quite a few of the stops that would have been in place here. Now we're going to see them start to push this level back up here. You can see the Tekinson and the, what is it, the Kaijinsen. Yep, uh, Tekinson and Kaijinsen is now starting to come together, getting ready to do a cross. And right as this area is pushing up. So we're getting multiple um, levels of confirmation here that are starting to look pretty good. This didn't come down and make its way all the way back down. And so um, very close to forming a double bottom. Uh, I would say with uh, some reasonable certainty that we're probably going to see a move back um, to the upside now. Again, no guarantees, but let's see what happens. There you have it. And we got another buy signal right here on our indicator. And you see, um, price action really is um, a lot of calling, um, calling reversal points. And so generally what we need is something that gives us a little bit more confirmation that a new trend is forming. And that gets hard to do with price action because, um, you know, you're reading it right at the reversal point. And so let's see here, our signal, we'd have gotten it here. We'd have gotten our 50 pips. Not bad, not bad another winner okay price action is moving up 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 heavy 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 push upwards um, we're looking for any kind of reaction at these lines that we've already marked off or the zones you could say and so um, we're starting to get a little bit of a rejection of this area it's pushed down um, all the way down to this uh, little pullback area here it's not really a lot of confirmation in that move I mean it could come down but it definitely could uh, punch its way back up take back off still got some pretty good distance between the um, Tekinson and Kaijinsen and so eh, it's definitely iffy yeah see that's a prime example right there of um, you know, them trying to, to fake out traders. 
so they pushed it down heavily uh, people would have uh, possibly been barely brought into this trade thinking that it's breaking down below this uh, little area right here because that's where a lot of people would set your entries is below this little uh, pullback zone right here and so they had barely been brought into a trade and then boom turn around stop hunt blast right up take them out of the trade and then it's going to start playing around with price again up here let's see what happens all right so now we're starting to see this area right here where it has uh, pushed up made a pullback here a, a, a reasonable pullback just like it did here but if you notice the kaijin sun and tegan sun is starting to narrow in on itself and so um, that is a good sign that this is losing momentum let's see if we can get a little bit more confirmation and price action that's it right there that would be good confirmation and so what we would do is we would set nope wrong line we would set the buy order right about here and see what happens uh, our our indicator has not given us a clear signal uh, the Tekensen and Kijensen has not crossed yet and so it's still a little premature but we got some reasonable price action taking place here a reasonable pattern it's um, hitting this area right here this zone if it can make a strong break down here it will most likely move at least 50 pips again no guarantee but uh, relatively certain that this one might uh, get us something so let's see there we have it so broke down below it it's like I said we would enter that trade we would got our 50 pips out of it um, and we would have um, gotten a, a decent little trade out of that it's possible that it will even continue down even farther now we have the cross of the Tekensen and Kijensen taking place here and so that's an extra level of confirmation letting us know that this is now charting uh, trying to form a, a downtrend and so there you go it's not doing it with a lot of conviction you see how you got these uh, just lots of big engulfing candles up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down uh, this is a, a level of confusion uh, you have uh, buyers and sellers and a tug of war that are both just you know really jamming it up and down and so these are areas that you want to be uh, cautious of uh, because you want areas where there are clear patterns with uh, very uh, you know uh, clear signs that it's moving in a certain direction and this definitely doesn't have it here and so let's play it out a little bit and see what it does hey look at there we got another short signal on our indicator and it did give us another winning trade so far so good all right we're gonna play it forward here we're looking for uh, any kind of reaction to our zones that we have marked out sometimes we get reactions I mean you see here we got a good reaction uh, as far as you know it didn't give us a good trade is just a good reaction you see there was a lot of reaction to this zone right here came down wasn't a very strong push down and so um, this little movement right here is most likely going to be a fake out if i had to guess it's going to uh, try to push up into this area a little bit and then bring itself back down again they're trying to get traders to enter into a, a new what looks like a new trend right here before they shove it back down and try to wipe out their stops um, making some money out of them and so let's see what happens looks like it's just going to bounce up here and just kind of tread along this area here we could have um 
We could have gotten a, a trade out of that one. Yeah, we could have gotten a 50 a 50 pip tra uh, trade out of that. But again, we didn't have clear price action pattern. Uh, we didn't have the Kijensen and uh, Tekensen uh, really narrowing in on each other. And so again, you have to set um, you know these um, these levels of conditions that need to be met for you to be able to take a trade. Um, if you have five different conditions and only one of those conditions were met, um, then um, you know you're just kind of gambling at that point. Let's say um, one of the conditions was it needed to break up above the Tekinson. And um, then another condition, like I said, was three or more um, pushes in one direction or another. And then uh, let's say one of them was narrowing in on the Kijensen and Tekinson. And then one of them was a clear defined price action pattern. Uh, that was uh, very clear to read. And let's say that at this point, all you have is the break of the um, the Tekinson, then you've only met one point on your criteria list. Probably not a good idea to take that trade. That's where greed comes in. You start thinking to yourself, ah, this, you know, this could be the big winner and you take the trade and then it turns out to be your biggest loss. Um, you'll get away with it a few times. You'll have instances like this where you broke your rule and you got you, know, you got a good trade once or twice or three times, but there will be a moment where uh, it catches you and bad things happen. All right, so let's see here. It's bouncing along, bouncing along. We got a buy signal right there. Ah, man, that's really close. I'm not sure we got our 50 out of it. If it did, it was barely. Nope. We did not. So we have one losing trade from our indicator. Price action not making a really convincing move back to the upside there. Um, let's watch it, watch it, watch it. We got a, um, a sell signal right here. Um, we have a very weak move right here. Don't really have a great price action set up, but it looks like it, it might, you know, tank its way back down here for a moment. So at least enough to give us our 50 pips. Yep, it did. There we go. All right, let's watch price action here, see what it does. Bam, came down and smacked that area, did very similar to what it did right here, um, where it hit it and just immediately rebounds. And those are the most frustrating ones because you can't really get a good read on price action. I mean, it hit it and it just, bam, shot out of there. And it could have very easily just come right straight back down um, and just taking out your trade. I mean, it still could. There's really no guarantee. The uh, Tekinson and uh, uh, Kaijinsen is um, actually uh, getting farther apart here. They're not getting closer. And so, um, there is not a whole lot of indication that this thing's going to move with any kind of conviction. There you have it. Exactly like I said, uh, did what I feared, pushed up, then it dropped back down. If we would have entered that trade, we would not have gotten our 50 pips. We would have definitely got stopped out right there uh, and we would have taken a losing trade. Now it is setting up again here where we have a push down, a push up, a higher low here and now it's starting to push its way back up with the Kaijinsen and Tekinsen uh, narrowing in on itself and so um, it's not a great setup but it looks like it it might take off to the upside here 
Um, let's see what happens. So the more it kind of bounces around here is uh, the less um, the the less comfortable I am with uh, this particular setup. You really want to again have clear conviction in the moves. So let's play it out a little bit here. Eh, there you go. We'd have gotten something out of it, but again, uh, you don't want to gamble. You want to have certain moves. You want to have a certainty in your um, your entries, and so. All right, so we have a move there. We have definitely 50 pips out of it. Another winning trade for our indicator. Indicator is doing really well. Um, this video is getting a little long. We are close to the end of the year. I'm going to go ahead and just play this out. Um, stop messing around with price action reading. And uh, I will pick us back up once we get to the end of the year. All right. Here we are at the end of the year. And again, um, you know, I find it interesting um, when I go back and mark out areas of support and resistance from years back and they still act as areas of support and resistance all the way up um, years later. That always amazes me um, that you can do that. And so something, uh, something interesting to keep in your little um, trading notebook of, of useful things is to mark out these lines. I mean, you can see here where it clearly came down and hit this area and then started to make its way back up. I mean, you can see it, you know, it rode this line. And so, yeah, just something interesting to take note of. All right, our indicator. So not bad here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight trades with it and we have uh, six of them that were winning trades. And so um, definitely meets the 60% criteria. I wish it was a little bit quicker sometimes in um, its moves. But you, um, I mean, sometimes it did really good. But sometimes it was pretty delayed. I mean, that's, you know, there's half the move is gone there almost the entire move is gone there before we uh, pick up on uh, the signal to go um, go long or short and so yeah I mean it's it's not a bad indicator um, definitely something you could use um, you know in the beginnings of your trading career uh, to just get, you know, kind of solid uh, wins in. And so uh, it's going on the yes list and we will move on to the next indicator from here. If you have not already, like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. As part of the team, it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you.